Yay. Annie and I are titling this class Armpits and Hips. Yay! <laughs> so let's do it. Find a comfortable seat to start. Let's take a bow. <laughs> and let's take the hands to start and we're actually just going to put our hands in our armpits, kind of like the girl from Superstar. I know it's kind of awkward and funny looking, but put your fingers really deep into that kind of hollowed out area underneath the armpit you can kind of feel there's like some bony stuff going on but then there's like that divot where it's like a little shallow deep cave kind of thing and then just press your fourth finger and your middle finger or any amount of fingers into that area very simple we're just doing this just to see what that does to our whole body. There is a, <clears throat> a pressure point in the armpits that is said to activate a lot of happy feelings. So maybe we just feel around and see if any amount of pressure just starts to percolate anything in the system. You could even give it a little massage. It doesn't have to be perfectly still. <coughs> Excuse. And then we'll just take this pressure, just feeling where the fingertips kind of land in a natural spot. And we'll just start to do some circling around with the torso. Doesn't matter which direction. You feel how the pressure kind of changes. And go in the opposite direction. And then release the arms, but just bring them up above the head before we bring them down. We're just gonna have them up for a little bit. Just feeling this length. <clears throat> if you were to look up, you could see that your fingers are pointing towards the ceiling. Your hands are maybe facing one another. Equally active, energized but not strained, not tight. Finding the effortless effort, letting the armpits breathe. <laughs> They're nice and wide open here, a little bit different than the normal placing of our arms throughout the day. Notice how it gets kind of warm. Different streams of energy are coming down from the fingertips down the sides of the arms. Just feeling that subtle <clears throat> movement along the arms. the shoulders be soft on the back. The chi is moving, the prana, the energy. 
perhaps we're getting a little bit tired here. Let's just see if we can find this suspension that feels easy and light without trying to force it. Can it seem almost effortless? <clears throat> Feeling the base of support underneath you, pushing down to rise up. That will help keep the momentum. The suspension can occur when we're deeply rooted, but light. We're doing good, just a couple more breaths. And then very slowly turn your hands to face the ground and then bring your arms down until your fingertips touch the earth. Just feel all the different things there are to feel in the arms right now. Watch it fade. Good. Now we'll start to come onto the floor. We'll set up for a child's folks. Just have like a small width in between the knees. You can still bring them together if you'd like, but maybe just a little bit of space and just walking yourself out, arms in front of you, hips go back to heels. Finding your child's pose. <clears throat> but if you'd like to continue with our armpit theme, you can take a block or a bolster, and you can place your elbows on that block or bolster, and then place your hands together and put them over your head. It might take a little bit of walking in and out of the block just to find the right spot. But we're going for this big open space <clears throat> underneath the armpits and the shoulders are getting a nice different kind of extension, compression. I don't know what to call it, but there's some space happening in there. Finding that spaciousness, finding that ease. I'm starting to just let the body absorb the shape. You feel the sensation of your body. And give yourself over to the weight. You can feel like anything that's on the outer edges of your body can seep in, sink in. <clears throat> Almost as if you were absorbing the light, like a plant absorbs light. Just 
feeling the sensation of cultivation. Enriching your whole soul <clears throat> by being here in your body. Okay, I have a bit of a scratchy throat for some reason. <clears throat> I apologize. Maybe at this time, <clears throat> you can experiment with bringing the knees a little bit wider apart. <clears throat> it's me <laughs> in your child's pose. Seeing if that is too much or if you can handle a little bit more sensation at a time. Just going deeper into the hips. You can always go back at any time. Stay in this child's pose for a little bit longer. Staying with this sense of sinking into ourselves. Absorbing the feeling. <clears throat> Leaning into it. Allowing your body to just be breathed. Easy, fluid breath.
start to lower your arms down if they were out. Walk yourself onto your hands. Bringing your spine back up to a seated position. Bring the legs back to touch. And then we'll just come to sit back, knees bent, hands behind us. Start with a little bit of a rocking back and forth. Just imagine like there is a pencil on the tailbone. Maybe not a pencil, maybe there's just paint on the tailbone. And we're just trying to put the paint on the floor like we're creating an imprint on the floor with the sit bones, with the whole pelvic fold. Feeling the compression against the floor, against the hips. Bring that to stop. And with the hands still behind us, we can just cross the right ankle over left knee. So we're doing figure four here, the hands behind us. Just for a moment, kind of getting into the hip here, very slowly. We're also still getting some nice armpit work by keeping the arms kind of active. Feeling the shape. Meditate here for a moment. Feeling of being in the body. And you're welcome to stay like this, or you could come to your back and do a kind of figure, or excuse me, figure four fold <laughs> on your back, or you can keep that right ankle crossed over your left knee, and then just come up to sit. So you're in the spire log position now, with your legs crossed one on top of the other kind of parallel here and you're welcome to just stay like that that's kind of deep in the hip creases to begin with this is a great place to be or you can stack something in front of you to fold forward onto or you could fold forward onto much more most sensation would be that forward fold onto the floor. Whether you're on your back in figure four, you're folding forward in fire log. You're just feeling, noticing. And then trying to direct our attention now towards something that feels easy. Chogyam Trungpa Rinpoche talks about giving up struggle. That when we resist, it causes more resistance, more struggle, more effort. But we're basically good. Our innate 
natural state is open, compassionate, caring, free from conditions, Everything else on top of it is just the struggle and attachment to self. When we give up the struggle, can we let go a little bit more? Just a little bit longer here. Looking for the softness. Swimming in it. Diving into wherever you find space. Ease. Like your body is being submerged to complete openness. We can start to bring ourselves back up, floating up, helping the legs apart. We'll come into this wide legged forward fold, just straightening out the legs, any amount apart that you would like, and just gently fold forward, let the head and neck go. If you were in figure four on your back, it would be a different journey into this space, but I trust you know how to get there. Very good. Now is an opportunity to take any movement that you desire, anything. The choice is yours. This is your body. This is your time. 
to move it in any way that feels appropriate, that feels good, that feels intuitive. Everybody might want something a little bit different, you know? Sounds like the fireworks time is approaching or it's here again. Otherwise, I have no idea what the external sounds are. So I apologize in advance if they appear. We'll just party with them. <laughs> All right, so let's just go back to hands behind us, rocking with the legs, windshield wiper back and forth. And we'll take that to the other side. We'll just start with the left ankle over the right knee at first, keeping your arms propped up. This feeling here, what this shape is like, how your body is being supported, what might be holding. This pose is simple, but can there be even more ease? Less struggle. Now I invite you to come down onto your back. To pull that knee into your chest. You can do a fold. Or again, you can come into fire log this time with the left leg over the right. And it doesn't have to be an exact parallel match of the shins, but they're pretty stacked here. If there's space in between, you can place blankets of blocks underneath to fill in that space. I trust you to know exactly what your body is asking for in this moment. Noticing what naturally arises in this moment. The feelings, the thoughts, what does this habitually instigate? Perhaps shifting the pattern. In the least noticing the pattern. Noticing a pattern. Noticing. What's there? What's happening? And there's a quote <clears throat> by Bonnie Bainbridge Cohen that I'll read now. She says, part of the problem is that we do things the way we know how to do them. So when we repeat things, we keep repeating them over and over in the same way. Maybe we add more effort or we try to stretch more. Often we try to use more force. And the key is how to use less force. How to become more efficient rather than more effortful. If we can understand how it is the body works more, most efficiently to accomplish whatever the task is, we would be able to improve our comfort. I'll read that one more time. It's a bit wordy. Part of the problem is that we do things the way we know how to do them. So when we repeat things, we keep repeating them over and over in the same way. 
Maybe we add more effort or we try to stretch more. Often we try to use more force. And the key is how to use less force. How to become more efficient rather than more effortful. If we can understand how it is the body works most efficiently to accomplish whatever the task is, we would be able to improve our comfort. Lessening the force. Body breathing. Not struggling. Just a few more breaths here. Start to rise back up, feeling the length of your spine, of crossing the legs, separating the feet. And this time we'll take a side stretch. So let's tuck the left leg in first, so it's like you're in the tree pose. What you're doing this half dragonfly. And you can just kind of slide the right arm down naturally as you take this side bend, lengthening out with the left arm over. And just let it lazily drape over the head. And so we're not forcing, again, we're not efforting or trying to stretch so that we're completely over that leg. We just kind of naturally find an edge. Now we can just kind of lazily drop our arms, let the head and neck drop, and we're just opening up on this left side of the body. Giving up the forcefulness, giving up the struggle. Sinking into softness, absorbing the sensation.
slowly rise back up. Being still, feeling the reverb. Extending that left leg back out. Bringing the right leg in now, in the part of the left thigh. And then just finding this side bend here on the right, sending the right arm up to start, feeling that big open space. And then just letting the arm forward fall. This side for me is a lot tighter. So I'm feeling a little bit of a stickiness here, but we breathe. Around. And we extend ourselves into the barriers. We emerge, we immerse ourselves without effort. Simple opening. Staying here for a few more breaths. And then slowly rising back up. Unbending that right leg and then just folding forward for a few breaths here, just a few moments. Good, and now we'll just start to recline backwards, bringing ourselves onto the floor with bent knees. Arms are out to the sides. And let's just bring the feet a little bit wider apart. Knock the knees in towards one another. Just feel that little support for a moment. Now we'll bring the knees over to the left side. So they're a bit wide apart, they're not stacked. If you want a little bit more sensation, you can take that left foot and cross it onto the right knee to give it a little bit of weight. So this is windshield wiper supine twist. We've got kind of windshield wiper legs, but we're kind of in this twisting position. You can adjust it according to how much sensation you want, how much of a twist you want. Noticing how maybe that stirred up a tiny bit of force or aggression or strangeness in the body. Transitions will do that. We have this ability to come back, 
soften again to re-immerse ourselves in our whole experience to work with what is creating new patterns, new grooves in our brains, new patterns in our bodies. Choosing non-reactivity. Choosing relief. Choosing to let go of ourselves a little bit. Let go of this clinging to who we are. If you've got that foot on top of the knee, you can put it back to the floor. And remembering that feeling of rolling the pelvis on the ground, getting all the paint off, rocking that big bowl across the floor, taking a few back and forth motions, feeling the decompression, spaces that are unloading. Feel some softness in the belly. Just letting go of the organs. Now we'll just drop the knees over to the right side. Feeling the space between them. And then perhaps taking that right foot and draping it over the left knee to give it a little bit of weight. Supine windshield wiper twist. No big deal. Giving up struggle. Putting some space around our sense of self. Who am I? We can ask ourselves, who am I? I am basically good. I am the awakened heart.
May I be well. May I be at ease. May I be content. Take all the air that's caught in the body and just free it, any of the air that might be stuck. Let it out. And keeping this sense of spaciousness. Letting go of the foot on the knee, bringing both feet back to center, rocking the feet from side to side. If you've got a block nearby, let's just lift the hips. You can put it on any level. And we'll take a little bit of a supported bridge here. Sinking in. Absorbing the shape. And pushing your feet into the ground, lift the hips up and drop them back down, straightening out the legs. Feel any sense of tingling or vibrations moving through the inner thighs, outer thighs, toes. And we'll end with a happy baby. So kicking the feet up towards your hands. You can grab onto the edges of the feet or the ankles, even the knees. Just opening up the hips. Maybe you stay still, maybe you wobble a little bit. So we're breathing and we're finding Efficiency and ease, dignity, we fit goodness, beyond struggle. Beyond the thinking mind.
Let that go. Straighten out the legs. Take any final movements here. Perhaps you want to take your Shavasana on the side today in a fetal position. Or you can put your legs up the wall or up a bed or a couch. You can just pop them up there. You can even be on your belly or on your back traditionally. Mm, let out a big sigh of relief. <sighs> and you can just go to sleep here. <laughs> really, we just let everything go. Welcome to stay exactly as you are. No need to move or force anything. We'll simply close just like this. Thank yourself for being here. dedicate our practice to all beings. May all beings be happy. May all beings be safe. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be at peace and at ease. Closing with a bow. Thank you. Ah, thanks, Sadie. You're welcome.